Hello, everyone. I'm Denise McInerney. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for PASS. And here with me today is PASS President Adam Jorgensen. Hi, Adam. Hey, Denise. So, Adam, it is the end of the first day of PASS Summit 2016. And we started off the day with a really exciting keynote presented by Joseph Sarosh of Microsoft. Yes. Joseph talked about a lot of interesting uh, products and features. Can you tell us a little bit about what you found particularly intriguing about that keynote? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, Joseph always brings a, an incredible team to the keynote, right? So it's a, it's a team approach. They had customers talking about how they're using SQL 2016 and Azure to really sort of change the landscape of their business and their industry. They talked a lot about um, everything from using uh, analytics to, to play games and Pokemon to changing and helping people, um, uh, helping the blind. Mm -hmm. And there's so many different things that they, they explored. I think one of the things that really resonated with the audience of our data professionals was the new SQL Server on Linux functionality. So they had an incredible demo talking about how you know, SQL Server is now going to be able to deliver the same high performance uh, type of workloads, but on Linux instead of just Windows, and I think the audience really, really resonated with that. Yeah, that SQL Server install on Linux and restoring a backup from Windows was a very popular demo yes. for sure. Yeah, it pretty much blew up social media. We were trending on social media this morning. We were. We yes. Were. So another uh, feature that I found particularly interesting was analysis services on Azure. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So you know, one of the things that they talked about in the keynote is. We have data warehouses in Azure, we have analytics, we have transactional systems, we have storage, we have all different ways we can interact and work with our data in Azure. And that, uh, that OLAP or analytical layer for our BI professionals or that, that part of the scenario uh, hasn't, hasn't been there yet. And that's, they've been working on it and they finally they've got it. And um, I think a lot of um, uh, BI and data warehousing scenarios are really looking forward to using that with something like Azure SQL Data Warehouse, maybe Data Lake, which we saw some Data Lake mm -hmm. Analytics today, uh, to really provide that complete scenario for their company. I think that's pretty exciting. So you mentioned Azure SQL Data Warehouse, and Joseph made a pretty exciting announcement to the audience and an offer to the, uh, to the audience today that I think we can share with the folks watching us. Yeah, it's a huge offer. I mean, we know Azure has free trials, right? We can always go out there and have a free 30-day trial, but you know, it is limited, of course, because it's a trial, but with this new Azure SQL Data Warehouse offer, we can go out for 30 days and really scale up, not maybe all the way to the top, but pretty, cl mm -hmm. pretty close. So we can run a real production caliber right. workload for 30 days for free, uh, and that's a pretty big offer. That's a big investment from Microsoft, a huge contribution to the community, and uh, a pretty incredible offer to make from the keynote stage. So we're pretty excited about it. And if you're, if you're interested in trying out the Azure SQL Data Warehouse trial, see the link on the screen, follow that link, and you'll find out how you can take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So day two of Summit tomorrow, lots more exciting content from Microsoft, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks everybody.